So I told you about cause significant indicators, right? So any word connecting a reason and a result is termed as a cause significant indicator. As I gave this example, we didn't go out as it was raining. There are two ideas here. One is it was raining and the other one is we didn't go out. So the reason here is it was raining and the result is we didn't go out. So if you ask me why didn't we go out, the reason is it was raining. So this is a reason, this is a result, right? As I told you, any word connecting a reason and a result is termed as a cause significant indicator. So in this sentence, as is a cause significant indicator because the cause and the effect are clubbed by as. Fine? Right. Now, as I said earlier, an idea can be negatively charged or positively charged. The charge of every idea depends on the context in which the idea appears. So based on the context, with the help of indicators, identify the charge of every idea. Fine? Come to this now. It was raining. Negative or positive? It was raining. Can be negative, can be positive, right? Now in this context, it was raining is negative or positive? In this context, it was raining is negative, right? Now while doing reasoning questions, we should not go for any kind of imagination or general knowledge. No imagination or general knowledge must be applied while doing reasoning questions. Now, uh, whatever general knowledge you have, please don't apply in the verbal part. Clear? Right? Uh, and uh, even if the author says a blunder, we have no choice. We have to agree to whatever the author says. Right? Here, I asked you the charge of the second idea. First idea, second idea. I asked you the charge of this particular idea. Right? Forget about it. What is the first idea? We didn't go out. This idea is negative or positive. We didn't go out. Now, it is not given there that we wanted to go out. That becomes imagination. I told you no imagination, right? Based on the words in this idea, tell me, this idea is negative or positive. We didn't go out. Didn't means what? Did not. Not is a negative word or a positive word? Negative word. So based on the words in this idea, I can say this idea is negative. That means here, the result is negative. If the result is negative, the reason also must be negative. So here the result is negative, so reason also must be negative. So in this context, it was raining is negative. Clear? And we could identify the charge of this idea only with the help of the indicator S. That's why I said don't miss any indicator while reading. Fine. What if I write, we went out to play as it was raining. We went out to play as it was raining. As is a cause and effect indicator. Now tell me, in this context, it was raining is negative or positive. What is the result here? The result in this sentence is we went out to play. Negative or positive? Positive. So here, the result is positive. If the result is positive, the reason also must be positive. So in this context, it was raining is positive. Clear? So the charge keeps on changing based on the context. So based on the context, with the help of indicators, you find out the charge of every idea. Got it? Fine. Hope it's clear. What about this statement? She cried as is a cause of indicator. As she was depressed. She cried as she was depressed. Tell me, in this context, she cried is negative or positive? In this context, she cried is negative or positive. Now, as the cause of indicator, what is the reason here? The reason here is she was depressed. Negative, positive? Negative. Clear? The reason here is she was depressed and the reason here is negative. I asked you the charge of the first idea. Forget about it. The second idea is she was depressed. That means the reason is negative. If the reason is negative, the result also must be negative. So in this context, she cried is negative. Fine? What if I write? She cried. As she was happy. Now when we are happy also we will cry sometimes. 
right she cried as she was happy in this context she cried is negative positive what is the reason here the reason here is she was happy negative positive positive so here the reason is positive if the reason is positive the result also must be positive so in this context she cried is positive clear the charge keeps on changing what if i write she was happy but she cried she was happy but she cried in this context she cried is negative positive but is one indicator but is a contrast indicator as i told you a contrast indicator must connect to contradicting ideas one positive idea and one negative idea clear but is a contrast indicator what is the first idea here she was happy negative positive positive so but is a contrast indicator and the first idea is positive so second idea must also be positive so in the sorry 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 i'm sorry but is a contrast indicator a contrast indicator must connect to contradicting ideas one positive idea and one negative idea but is a contrast indicator and the first idea is positive so second idea must be negative so in this context she cried is negative but a contrast indicator must connect one positive idea and one negative idea here for the first idea is negative first idea is positive but is a contrast indicator so second idea must be negative so in this context she cried is negative got it so as i said <coughs> by heart the list <coughs> of indicators and on seeing those words you must be able to identify whether they are support indicators or contrast indicators or cause effect indicators and then think accordingly about the charts clear so these are the three kinds of indicators in english contrast support and cause effect fine tell me this <coughs> sorry turning away from the poor turning away from the poor poor is a negative idea or positive idea turning away from the poor turning away from the poor means are you helping them or not you're not helping them so that becomes a negative action clear turning away from the poor means you're not helping the poor so that becomes a negative action fine may we please take down the sentence <coughs> right some warmly some warmly uh wait i'll write i'll drop the first part hope you have taken it down some warmly and and is a support indicator it's connect either two positive ideas or two negative ideas some warmly and neatly dressed people some warmly and neatless people tell me warmly warm is a negative word or a positive word warm uh he was given a warm welcome or a cold welcome i think like cold welcome in fact right warm welcome or cold welcome he was given a warm welcome so warm is a positive word we human beings are warm blooded or cold blooded no i'm not not i'm not asking about scientific knowledge in fact clear a human beings can be warm blooded as well as cold blooded most of us are cold blooded we don't agree in fact clear human beings being cold blooded is negative human beings being cold blooded means like vampires devilish evil etc so human beings being warm blooded is positive whereas being cold blooded is negative it was a warm blooded murder or cold blooded murder in fact there's nothing like warm blooded murder right cold blooded murder what do you mean by cold blooded murder very horrible brutal ruthless merciless etc so warm is a positive word now if you have any doubt and is a support indicator as i said a support indicator must connect either two positive ideas or two negative ideas right which are the two ideas that and connects here one is warmly and the other one is neatly i asked you the charge of the first idea forget about it what is the second idea neatly dressed people negative positive positive so and is a support indicator and the first idea is positive so this and the second idea is positive so first idea must also be positive 
clear? And this is a support indicator. First study is positive. Second study is positive. So first study must also be positive. Clear? Continue writing. Some warmly and neatly dressed people <coughs> are very polite, comma, are very polite and and again a support indicator, right? And they turn away from the poor because because is what indicator cause and effect indicator because is same as as connecting a positive reason and a positive result or negative reason and a negative result anyways i'll give you a list of indicators right fine because they don't want they don't want to hurt them, to hurt them by their looks. They don't want to hurt them by their looks. So this is a very long sentence, right? Now this sentence contains many ideas connected using indicators. And is an, and is a support indicator. Again, we have and support indicator. And because is a cause nothing indicator connecting a positive reason and a positive result or negative reason and a negative result, right? Now tell me, in this context, they turn away from the poor is a negative idea or positive idea? In this context, they turn away from the poor is a negative idea or positive idea? Actually, the charge keeps on changing. In this context, they turn away from the poor is a positive idea. Because the three reasons are because one is and. And is a support indicator. It should connect either two positive ideas or two negative ideas. Clear? Which are the two ideas that this and connects here? That means uh, what is the idea coming before this and? And what is the idea coming after this and? The two ideas that this and connects here are, one is they are very polite. One is they are very polite and the other one is they turn away from the poor. These are the two ideas that this and connects here. Clear? I asked you the charge of the second idea. Forget about it. What is the first idea? They are very polite. Negative, positive, positive. So, but, and is a support indicator. And the first idea is positive, so second idea must also be positive. That means the turn away from the poor must be positive. Clear? That is one reason. Then because is a cause and effect indicator. As I said, should connect a positive reason and a positive result or negative reason and a negative result. Right? Tell me, which are the two ideas that because connects here? It means what is the idea coming before because and after because? The two ideas that because connects here are one is they turn away from the poor. Other one is they don't want to hurt them by their looks. These are the two ideas that because connects you. Tell me, which idea is the reason here? The reason. The reason here is they don't want to hurt them by their looks. That is the reason here. Negative reason or positive reason? They don't want to hurt them by their looks. Negative reason or positive reason? Positive reason because of which concept? It becomes a positive reason because of the concept of double negation. I told you about this concept yesterday, yesterday's class, double negation. When two negative terms come together, the meaning becomes positive. Don't is a negative word. Hurt is also a negative word. So two negative terms coming together, double negation. Here the reason is positive. They don't want to hurt them by their looks. So here the reason is positive. <coughs> if the reason is positive, the result also must be positive. So in this context, they turn away from the poor is of course positive. Clear? And we could identify the charge of this idea only with the help of the indicators and and because. That's why I said don't miss any indicator while reading. And this concept is more than enough to identify the charge of every idea in a sentence. And as I told you, identifying the charge will surely help us eliminate options. Clear? Now one more reason to say that it's this idea is positive here is this sentence 
started in a negative way or positive way? This sentence started in a negative way or positive way? Some warmly and neatly dressed people in a positive way. This sentence started in a positive way. Anywhere in this sentence, you find a contrast indicator. Anywhere in this sentence, you find a contrast indicator. No, there is no contrast indicator in this sentence. I told you, only a contrast indicator tells us about a change in the charge. Clear? This sentence started in a positive way and nowhere in this sentence we find a contrast indicator. That means, in this sentence, there is no change in the charge. From the beginning till the end, the whole sentence is positively charged. Got it? So, in this context, they turn away from the poor is, of course, positive. Clear? Now, you take this sentence as a logical reasoning question. As a reasoning question. Clear? So, they take this as a reasoning question. Now, the question is this. Uh, I'll drop this part. The question is this. Some warmly and neatly dressed people. This is a question. This sentence is a, is a take it as a logical reasoning question. And this is a question following this sentence, right? Some warmly and neatly dressed people. First option. Want to hurt the poor. Want to hurt the poor, first option. Second option. Want to help the poor. Want to help the poor, second option. Third option. Ridicule the poor ridicule the poor third option and fourth option don't want to offend the poor don't want to offend the poor right now if the question is positively charged you eliminate all the negative options similarly if the question is negatively charged you eliminate all the positive options because if the question is positive the answer also must be positive if the question is negative the answer also must be negative that is the rule clear fine now this is a sentence given to us as a question some warmly and neatly dressed people now tell me this statement now these four options are based on this particular statement given in the question this question is negative positive positive here, according to the sentence, this statement is positively charged. That means the question is positively charged. If the question is positively charged, the answer also must be positively charged. Now tell me, based on the charge, how many options can be eliminated? Based on the charge, how many options can be eliminated? We don't want a negative option. We want a positive option here. Clear? Fine. Come to the first one. Want to hurt the poor. Negative or positive? Negative. Easily eliminated. Clear? Come to the third one. Ridicule the poor. Negative or positive? Ridiculing means what? Humiliating, embarrassing, insulting. Ridicule the poor. Negative or positive? Negative. Easily eliminated. Clear? I told you no imagination. The option that we go for must be given there the question. Clear? The option that we select must be given there the question. Now we are left with two options. 2 and 4. 2 says, want to help the poor. Positively charged. 4 says, don't want to offend the poor. Now tell me, option 4 is negatively charged or positively charged? Don't want to offend the poor. Offend means support or oppose. Offend means to oppose. Whereas defend means to support. Clear? Offend means to oppose, whereas defend means to suppose. Offending a person is same as hurting a person. Offending a person is same as hurting a person. So don't want to offend the poor. Don't is a negative word. Offend is also a negative word. 
double negation. So here we have two negative terms come together, coming together. When two negative terms come together because of double negation, the charge becomes positive. So don't want to offend the poor becomes a positive option. Clear? So here we have two positive options. One is want to help the poor. Other one is don't want to offer the poor. Now tell me which should be the answer to this question. Second one or fourth one? Come to second one. Want to help the poor. Is this idea there in this particular sentence? Want to help the poor. Is this idea there in this particular sentence? This idea is not given there in this particular sentence. I told you no imagination at all. Clear? So even though this option is positive, the idea in this option is not given there in the statement. So 2 is also eliminated. Come to the last one. Now this must be given there in the statement. Then only we can go for this. Don't want to offend the poor. Tell me exactly which idea in this sentence talks about this option. Don't want to offend the poor. Exactly which idea in this sentence talks about this option. Don't want to offend is same as don't want to hurt them. Don't want to hurt, don't want to offend, both are fine. Double negation, positive. Double negation, positive. Four must be the answer to this question. Clear? So identifying the charge will surely help us eliminate options. And go for an option that finds mention in the statement given as a question. No imagination and no general knowledge at all. Clear? So this is a concept of indicators. As I said, identifying the charge will surely help us eliminate options. Hope it's clear. Right? Fine. Now, uh, I run this sentence. I frame the sentence in this way. You may also take down. I frame the sentence in this way. Take down, please. Some warmly and neatly dressed people are very polite. Some warmly and neatly dressed people are very polite. But, but, but is a key word. And is also a key word. Clear? But, they turn away from the poor because cost nothing indicator because they don't want to help them some warmly and needless people are very polite but they turn away from the poor because they don't want to help them right now tell me, in this context, they turn away from the poor is a negative idea or positive idea? In this context, they turn away from the poor is a negative idea or positive idea? In this context, they turn away from the poor becomes a negative idea. Because, but is what indicator? But is a contrast indicator. As I told you, a contrast indicator must connect a positive idea or a, and a negative idea. A contrast indicator must connect one positive idea and one negative idea. Clear? But is a contrast indicator. Right? The idea before but. The idea before but is negative positive? Positive. They are very polite. So but is a contrast indicator and the first idea is positive. So second idea must be negative. Clear? That means they turn away from the poor must be negative here. That is one reason. Then because is a cause and effect indicator. It should connect a positive reason and a positive result or a negative reason and a negative result. Clear? The two ideas that because connects here are one is they turn away from the poor and the other one is they don't want to help them. Which idea is the reason here? Which idea is the reason here? They don't want to help them is the reason. Negative reason or positive reason? Negative reason. They don't want to help them is a negative reason. So here the reason is negative. If the reason is negative, the result also must be negative. So in this context, they turn away from the poor is a negative idea. Clear? Right. 
One more reason. This sentence started in a negative way or positive way? This sentence started in a negative way or positive way? Positive way. Some warmly and neatly dressed people. Clear? Anywhere in this sentence, you find a contrast indicator? Yes. But is a contrast indicator. I told you, only a contrast indicator tells us about a change in the charge. This sentence started in a positive way and but is a contrast indicator. That means in this sentence, there is a change in the charge. The sentence started in a positive way. Then we have a contrast indicator. That means what comes after the contrast indicator must be negative. Clear? So in this context, they turn away from the poor becomes a negative. Word. Hope it's clear. Right? So I need for the charge of every idea based on the indicators. So when I dictate the list of indicators, you may please take down and make sure that you buy hard the list and don't miss any indicator while reading. Clear? And this concept is more than enough to identify the charge of every idea in a sentence. Fine? Now please come to this. As I said, a support indicator connects either two positive ideas or two negative ideas. Similarly, a cause and effect indicator also connects either two positive ideas or two negative ideas. Clear? Then what is the difference between support and cause and effect? Both connect either two positive ideas or two negative ideas. Then what is the difference between support and cause and effect? The only difference is this. A cause and effect indicator connects two dependent ideas. A cause and effect indicator connects two dependent ideas. Both the ideas are dependent on each other. One idea is the reason to the other idea. One action will happen only if the other action happens. Both are dependent on each other. Whereas, a support indicator connects two independent ideas. A support indicator connects two independent ideas. Both the ideas are not dependent on each other. It means one idea is not the reason to the other idea. Both are two independent ideas. That is the only difference. Now, anyways, there is no need for you to think about this much. Focus only on the charge of the ideas. Clear? So, this is a concept of indicators. Fine? I'll give you some more examples anyways. I'll drop this part. Uh, you may take down this statement. No imagination and no general knowledge, as I said. Clear? Beauty, beauty is present everywhere, comma. Punctuation marks, I said, they are important. Uh, we'll discuss the importance of it later, right? Beauty is present everywhere, but, but is a key word. A contrast indicator but not everyone identifies it but not everyone identifies it clear now it is a pronoun a singular pronoun as I said pronoun antecedent each and every pronoun must refer to a noun before it a singular pronoun can refer only to a singular noun and a plural pronoun can refer only to a plural noun. It is a singular pronoun. And the pronoun it here refers to beauty. Right? The pronoun it here refers to beauty. Beauty is present everywhere, but not everyone identifies it. Imagine, okay, take this as a statement given as a reasoning question. Clear? This is a reasoning question. Now, from this statement, can you infer a conclusion like, can you go for an inference like, some identify beauty. Some identify beauty. Can this statement be inferred from this question? Can this option be inferred from this statement? The statement given as a question is, Beauty is present everywhere, but not everyone identifies it.
From this statement, can you go for an option, for an inference like, some identify beauty? My question is, can this be inferred from this question? Some identify beauty. Can be inferred or cannot be inferred? This option cannot be inferred from this statement. This option cannot be inferred from this statement. I totally no imagination, right? Always go by the concepts. The concepts are to make our task easy. Clear? No imagination at all. Fine. Now, but is a key word. Contrast indicator. As I told you, a contrast indicator must connect to conducting ideas. One positive idea and one negative idea. Clear? But is a contrast indicator. What is the first idea? Beauty is present everywhere. Negative, positive, positive. So, but is a contrast indicator and the first idea is positive. So, the second idea must be negative. That means, not everyone identifies it must be negative. That message is clear? Right. Come to the option. Some identify beauty. Now, the question contains two ideas connected by but. First idea is positive, second idea is negative. Right. Come to the option. Some identify beauty. This option is negative or positive. Some identify beauty. This option is positive. Clear? Now tell me exactly which idea in the question talks about this option. Exactly which idea in the question. There are two ideas in the question connected by but. Exactly which idea in the question talks about this option. Identifying beauty. Identifying beauty is mentioned in this idea. Identifies it. Clear? So, the second idea in the question talks about this option. So, to know whether this option is correct or not, we need to focus only on the second idea. You forget about the first idea. Clear? To know whether this option is correct or not, we need to focus only on the second idea. Identifies it. Identifying beauty. Clear? Forget about the first idea. Now, tell me. According to the question, the second idea is negative or positive? Negative. According to the question, the second idea is negative. This option is negative or positive? Positive. Negative and positive will not go together. So, this cannot be inferred from this statement. Clear? It is not given there. That is what we imagine, in fact. Clear? So, this cannot be inferred from that statement. Hope it's clear. If you require, I will explain once again. Right? The question contains, don't get confused, the, the question contains two ideas connected by but, contrast indicator. So, but must connect one positive idea and one negative idea. The first idea is beauty is present everywhere, positive. So, second idea must be negative. That means not everyone identifies it must be negative. The option I give is some identify beauty. This option is positively charged. And the second idea in the question talks about this option. Not everyone identifies beauty. So, as I said, to know whether this option is correct or not, we need to focus only on the second idea. Clear? According to the question, the second idea is negative. This option is positive. Negative and positive will not go together. So, this cannot be inferred from that statement. Right? So, this is a concept of indicators. Clear? So options can be easily eliminated if you buy hard the list of indicators and make use of the concepts of indicators. Fine? Hope it's clear. Right? Okay. Now, uh, you may take down a list of indicators. Now, before that, I'll ask you some reasoning questions. The concepts of it, I'll tell you later, in fact. I will discuss today itself. We'll go for it today. Uh, think and then tell me the answer. Fine? Question is this. All the students in the class are writing. All the, stu all the students in the class are writing. Rahul is in the class. All the students in the class are writing. Rahul is in the class. From this, can you infer that Rahul is writing? All the students in the class are writing. Rahul is in the class. From this, can you infer that Rahul is writing? You cannot infer that Rahul is writing from this, these two sentences. Because I said, 
all the students in the class are writing. Then I said Rahul is in the class. Did I say that Rahul is a student in the class? No. I did not say that Rahul is a student in the class. He may be a teacher in the class. Clear? So from these two sentences, we cannot infer that Rahul is writing. Fine? What if I say, all the students in the class are writing. All the students in the class are writing. Rahul is a student. Rahul is a student. From this, can you infer that Rahul is writing? All the students in the class are writing. Rahul is a student. From this, can we infer that Rahul is writing? From this also, you cannot infer that Rahul is writing. Because as I said, all the students in the class are writing. Then I said, Rahul is a student. Did I say that Rahul is in the class? I did not say that Rahul is in the class. So he may not be in the class. So from this also you cannot infer that Rahul is writing. Fine. So think about every question carefully and then only move on to the options. Apply the concepts onto the questions and then only think about the options. And if you are not able to understand the question, then moving on to the options of no use in fact. Clear? Fine. What about this? All the students in the class are writing. The class refers to a particular class. Def I told you, definite article taken as particular. Clear? Specific. All the students in the class are writing. Rahul is a student who is in a class. Clear? All the students in the class are writing. Rahul is a student who is in the class. From this, can you conclude that Rahul is writing? You cannot conclude. Because as I said, all the students in the class are writing. The class is to a particular class. Clear? When I said, Rahul is a student in a class. A class means it can be any class. So it does not Rahul is in the class. Students are right. So from this, you cannot conclude Rahul is. If I say, fine. What if I say, all the students in the class are writing. All the students in the class are writing. Rahul is a student who is in that class. All the students in the class are writing. Rahul is a student who is in that class. From this, can you conclude Rahul is writing? From this, you can infer that Rahul is writing. Because as I said, all the students in that class in the class are writing, referring to a particular class. Rahul is a student who is in that class. Which class? That particular class where all the students are writing. From this you can conclude or infer that all Rahul is also right. Clear? So think about every question carefully and then only move on to the options. Right? So that's about indicators. Right? First you may take down. I'll say as well as I'll list down the, uh, the indicators. You may take down along with me. Fine? And don't miss, as I said, don't miss any indicator while reading. Fine? A contrast indicator connects to contradicting ideas. I repeat, positive, negative, or negative, positive. A support indicator connects to supporting ideas. Either two positive ideas or two negative ideas. A cost of indicator connects one reason and one result. Reason positive, result also positive. Reason negative, result also negative. Fine? Right. You may take down a list of indicators. Right, some contrast indicators, some contrast indicators, right, but, but, however, however, yet, 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 though, though, although, although, even though, even though, albeit, a l b e i t, a l b e t, albeit. Now, though, although, even though, albeit mean the same. Albeit, despite, despite. What spelling of despite? D e s or d i s? 
Now, even though we write it as uh, D E S P I T, it is not pronounced as despite. It's, pro it's not pronounced as despite. It is pronounced as despite. Despite. In spite of. In spite of. Now, there is nothing like despite of. Despite of is wrong. Right? Despite of is wrong. It should be despite and then in spite of. In spite of. Regardless of. Regardless of. Notwithstanding, single word, N-O-T-W-I-T-H-S-T-A-N-D-I-N-G, notwithstanding. Now, these four words mean the same. Despite, in spite of, regardless of, notwithstanding mean the same. Firstly, despite the rain, we went for shopping. That is same as, in spite of the rain, we went for shopping. Regardless of the rain, we went for shopping notwithstanding the rain we went for shopping all mean the same clear despite in spite of regardless of notwithstanding otherwise otherwise whereas whereas lest 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 nevertheless n e v e r T H E L E S S. Nevertheless. Now, otherwise, whereas, lest, nevertheless mean the same. Nevertheless. In contrast, in contrast, on the contrary, on the contrary, C O N T R A R Y, on the contrary, on the other hand, on the other hand, in opposition to, in opposition to, these four words mean the same. In contrast, on the contrary, on the other hand, in opposition to mean the same. In opposition to, rather than, rather than, Instead of, instead of, not, 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 unlike, unlike, etc. Clear? So these words connect to contradicting ideas. As I said, one positive idea and one negative idea. So be more careful about contrast indicators while reading. Clear? So these words connect to contacting ideas. As I said, one positive idea and one negative idea. But however, yet though although all these words. Fine? Right. Now some support indicators. Some support indicators. I'll rub this. Some support indicators. You may take down. And, and, also, also, moreover, moreover, as well as, as well as, along with, along with, together with, together with in addition to in addition to accompanied by accompanied by now these words mean the same as well as along with together with in addition to accompanied by mean the same accompanied by besides besides now what is the difference between beside and besides. What is the difference in beside and besides? Beside means what? Next to, nearby, by the side of, adjacent, etc. Right? Besides means what? If I say besides boys, there are girls in the class. Besides means in addition to. Clear? So beside means next to or nearby. 
Besides means in addition to. So beside is not a support indicator. Besides is a support indicator. Right? Besides, other than, other than. Now, other than is a support indicator. Whereas, rather than is a contrast indicator. I gave rather than in the list of contrast indicators. Clear? So, other than is a support indicator. Rather than is a contrast indicator. Other than, apart from, apart from, uh, as a complement, as a complement. What is the spelling of complement? C O M P L I M E N T or uh, C O M P L E M E N T, which is correct. Ayori. <coughs> in fact, both are correct. <coughs> Sorry, but both are two different words. You know, in wedding invitation letters, we find with best compliments, right? That is uh, C M P L I or C M P L E with best compliments. That is C M P L I. C M P L I. With best compliments means what? Best wishes, best regards, etc. Right? What do you mean by CMPL EMENT compliment? CMPL EMENT. Now, when you buy a shirt, sometimes you get a handkerchief as a compliment, something given addition to something, as a gift to support something, to complete something. That is CMPL EMENT. Now, tell me, in this context, should it be CMPL IMENT or CMPL EMENT? It should be CMPL EMENT because supporting something, completing something, right? As a complement, CMPL EMENT. As a complement, uh, in support of, in support of, complete with, complete with, in conjunction with, in conjunction with, now I told you earlier what a conjunction is. Any word that connects two ideas can be termed as a conjunction. Now all indicators are conjunctions. All indicators are conjunctions because all indicators connect two ideas. The only thing is the charge of the ideas changes. Clear? The charges of the ideas change depending on contrast, support and cause effect. So all indicators are conjunctions. The only thing is the charge of the ideas they connect will vary. That is the only thing. Clear? In conjunction with compounded by compounded C M P O U N D E D compounded by as an example as an example. Now here, an example is a support indicator. And the rule is this, an example cannot be taken as an idea. An example is not an idea. An example always supports the statement that comes immediately before it. That is a rule, right? An example cannot be taken as an idea. An example is not an idea. An example always supports the statement that comes immediately before it. Clear? Now if I say, you take it this way. X and Y are my good faculty members, right? Take it this way. X and Y are my good faculty members, clear? I say, I have many good faculty members, full stop. Now, as you know, a statement or a sentence ends with a full stop. I have many good faculty members, full stop. The sentence ended there. I have many bad faculty members too. Example, X and Y. What does it mean? I have many good faculty members, full stop. I have many bad faculty members too. Example, X and Y. What does it mean? It means that X and Y are my bad faculty members. Because that is the statement coming immediately before the example. I told you an example always supports a statement coming immediately before it. Clear? So if X and Y are my good faculty members, I must say in this way. I have many good faculty members. For example, X and Y. Then I have many bad faculty members too. An example always supports a statement coming immediately before it. Clear? Fine. As an example, take down like, like, similarly, similarly, such as, such as, for instance, 
for instance as an illustration as an illustration likewise likewise now all these words mean the same as an example like similarly such as for instance as an illustration likewise mean the same likewise not only but also as you know not only will be followed by but also not only but also etc clear fine so these words connect to supporting ideas either two positive ideas or two negative ideas so whenever you come across these words conclude that two supporting ideas are getting connected the two ideas will be either positive or negative clear so this is about supporting ideas clear fine now one more left cause and effect indicators hope you have taken it down right i should rub this last one is cause and effect indicators take down some cause and effect indicators clear right. as as because because so so if due to therefore as a result of as a result of on account of on account of as a consequence as a consequence in order to in order to that's why that apostrophe s y that's why hence hence since since Thus, then T H E N. Then, if and only if, if and only if, accordingly, accordingly, consequently, consequently. in accordance with in accordance with hereby hereby thereby thereby hereafter hereafter thereafter thereafter henceforth s e n c e f o r t s henceforth etc clear so these words connect two ideas one idea would be the reason other would be the result reason positive result also positive reason negative result also negative clear so by heart the list of support and contrast and cause and effect indicators and make sure that make you that you make use of these concepts while eliminating options clear so this is one of the many concepts that we have in reasoning and this concept is to identify the charge of every idea clear i told you we need to focus on understanding the context and identifying the charge so this is regarding the charge identifying the charge of every idea fine now we'll discuss some concepts regarding understanding the context clear understanding the meaning of a particular sentence fine right i'll rub this We'll go over some concepts regarding understanding the context. Understanding the context, right? Now, while doing reasoning questions, while doing reasoning questions, 
uh, we have to be careful about a set of words apart from indicators right we have to be careful about a set of words i list down those words you take down along with me then i'll explain clear so be careful about these words while doing reasoning questions clear fine take down uh, you take down first then i'll explain that right all all always always only only never never everyone everyone everybody everything every time everywhere all always only never everyone everybody everything every time everywhere someone someone somebody something sometime somewhere someone somebody something sometime somewhere anyone anybody anything any time anywhere anyone anybody anything anytime anywhere whatever uh right no one as well no one nobody nothing no time nowhere no one nobody nothing no time nowhere whatever whatever wherever wherever whenever whoever whomever whatever wherever whenever whoever whomever clear fine uh, you take on these words we'll take a break and we'll be back after 5 minutes